Yes, tis the magic that we speak of. Welcome back. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification so that you'll know when I upload my next video. Then tell a friend, tell that friend to tell a friend. You both subscribe, then someone else subscribes, and then we all just become a big happy family. All right, y'all, so let's get right into this protective style that I'm going to do on my natural hair. It's just gonna be some kinky twists, two strand twists, and I'm gonna do little ponytails, so. We may as well protect our mane, right? But you know, we got all of this magical hair. Beautiful. I'm like literally stretching my hair out with my fingers and my hand. And it may just stay like that because it's drying. Hold up. Get a little castor oil ready. And warmed up to put on some parts of my hair. Okay, honey, so I'm just gonna continue to distribute some castor oil throughout my tresses. I do wish that I put my leave in on first, but I did not do that. So I wanna talk about the protein treatment that I did prior to this video. It should be posted by now, but if not, I do wanna say that this big faux pas or big setback that you all are about to see with my hair is definitely my fault. What I did was I left that organic root stimulators, hair repair, deep conditioning, and restoring treatment mask. I left that on entirely too long, guys. I decided to do the video last minute, and I ended up recording the application, and that took me around 30 minutes. And to me, that was just way too long. That's about how long the product should have been in my hair since it was also a protein treatment. After I was done recording, I started to do some tasks around the house and I lost track of time. Therefore, it was just on way too long. I knew that when I washed it out that I had it on too long, but the treatment did what it was supposed to do. It strengthened my hair, it moisturized my hair, and I feel like it definitely is going to repair the breakage that it may have caused due to my hair being a little fragile getting some of that protein. All in all, this is a learning experience and I do not blame the product. I blame my process and me not strategically setting a time limit for myself to get the product out of my head. So nonetheless, guys, as you can see, my hair and curls are popping. My hair feels really good. And I want to say that I recently just discovered how to properly use Shine and Jam and what I'm doing ain't it, okay? But that's for another video, so I will share with you all how I've learned to make Shine and Jam work for my hair. Also guys, in this parting part of this video, I really was not worried about the parts because again, this hairstyle is a protective style for me to cover up. I was not going to have my hair hanging and dangling in these little ponytails going to anybody's business with my mask on and my gloves, okay? It just was not going to happen. If I left my home for something that was dire, it would have been with a head wrap, a cap, something. And by cap, I mean a ball cap. More than likely with the B on it. <laughs>
Honeys, that is not the Cantu Hydrating Conditioning Mist in the spray bottle. That is my own concoction of Cantu's leave-in conditioning cream, some sort of oil, some sort of essential oil and whatnot, shaken up to spray to re-moisturize or hydrate my hair, okay? So, here is a look at the progress. Have you guys tried the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream? If so, tell me what your experience is down below. I feel like the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream smells so good. I do like it a whole lot. It's very fragrant, so I do not like to get it on my scalp or it will cause my scalp to itch. But that curling cream definitely takes my hair from curls nowhere to, to curls right there. I enjoy using it. My preference is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream. It is thicker and not as slippery as the curling cream and I just feel like my hair likes it a little bit better. It applies to my hair better. Not only that, it does the exact same thing as the coconut curling cream. It pops those curls. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. So here we are just taking it down because we have to put it back in. Okay, so did you guys see how there was a little bit of the product? You can see it as, as I was twisting down this exact twist that I'm taking apart now. Look at those beautiful curls popping. And this is the left side of my head, y'all. So that area is the problem area that I've been working on recovering for the past few months but here we are twisting it down as you can see that can too coconut curling cream has completely absorbed into my hair I have low porosity hair and look y'all you don't see the white little residue any longer in that section of hair and that was literally like two minutes y'all so I think can too's coconut curling cream is really good for virgin low porosity hair because that is what I have and you can see the product literally absorbed into it just in that short amount of time and do you see here excuse me at the rubber band you saw some of that product build up and look at it that's product there so I mean that's exact same thing that happened to that first piece that I just explained to you guys so if you have low porosity hair I think that maybe the Cantu coconut curling cream may work for you as well i don't know why i said product build up because that is not product build up that's just a characteristic of low porosity hair where the product tends to kind of sit on top of it before it absorbs in it takes a little time a little effort but as you can see this product here absorbs into low porosity hair very well okay so my hair has sat a little. It's not dry, but it's much drier than it was earlier. So this is what we have. And of course, I'm not gonna wear my hair like this because this is like a young girl style. Well, this is traditionally what a young girl will wear. So nobody wearing their hair like this out, so. Anyway, we are not the brats. But now I understand why Brat used to wear her hair like this. Her natural hair long. And her ends like to twirl and curl and be friends. You know? That's why. You're gonna cover this style up so it doesn't really matter, right? But your hair is going to be conditioned, moist, popping, all of that. Look at that. Look at that. We can keep this good and moisturized, right? We can keep it moisturized. We can get to that scalp. Okay, so let's get to it. So you can use a net for this. You can use a stocking cap. You can use other scarves. You can use whatever, okay? So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair into a ponytail, a very loose one on top of my head. Oh, baby, that, that thing popped away to smithereen. So a rubber band. To get all of my cute little twists up like so 
into a ponytail, right? So, cute little ponytail. Let me see here. Give it a little bun. Doesn't matter, we're gonna cover it up, so. Little bun. Cause where you going? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell notification so that you'll know when I upload my next video. Tell a friend. And so on. Peace, love, and a whole lot of light. Bye, y'all.